Hello, my name is Yeet, and today we complete another episode of Suburb Extreme East Newman Survival Challenge. The vehicle we are choosing uh, for our survival challenge will be the 2005 Hyundai Tucson. It's a hatchback, second-hand vehicles, but brand new tires. Relatively new battery will provide an excellent startup. And the vehicle in question is well suited for the Pilbara environment. While not being excessively priced, unlike a land cruiser, this makes the perfect vehicle for traversing any Pilbara landscape, including East Newman. Now, for this trip today, we'll have exactly 32 units of um, standard unleaded petrol. It'll be a manual, so we'll have five gears to choose from. Uh, we'll be switching our radios to uh, 92.9, which is the community station for the Pilbara. Uh, our volume will be set to exactly 15 units. Now this is superior in use in this instance to Holden Commodore due to its fuel efficiency. Um, we'll be putting on sunglasses to protect ourselves from the sun, which can be harsh and unforgiving in this uh, extreme suburb landscape. The first step will be reversing out and onto the Ponzi Scheme Street, uh, just at the edge of the suburb and the entire town. Yeah, we'll be turning off into there. Now, the Hyundai Tucson does have problems with bird litter. But that should not be a trouble with traversing the East Newman landscape at all. Now, we got to stop in for every turn, just as seen in this instance. We'll be turning into the Ponzi scheme and going down the street. Now, as you can see, we'll just avoid the uh, street with the uh, non-existent buildings and go straight through to the roundabout. We will keep trudging forward, um, as seen here. Now you can see we perfectly turn with the uh, roundabout here. It's just a slight turn left and then a slight turn right to maintain ourselves straight. This is known as a turn into the second exit. Now as we keep going forward, we ignore all other turning options um, as we keep heading towards uh, the Newman Garden. Now, I have been told by my community that the way out of Newman can be done through the garden, but um, I decided to go with the safe route. Better to go with the direction you know than the direction you do not know. So we turn left into the street with the police uh, presence. This is considered among one of the safest streets due to it containing uh, the houses of several police officers, at least I have heard. As we continue forward, we ignore the no through street there, that will lead to a cul-de-sac and will not end well in our extreme suburb survival challenge. Now we stop here and wait for a car to go past, and we continue onwards onto one of the main streets of East Newman. As we go through Brayside, uh, we will keep going forward, ignoring uh, the street to our left as it comes forward. Uh, and then we'll be turning left at this street here. Now this will not be a very long venture as immediately after we go through this street, we will be turning right at the first street exit. This will take us to a street with a park. Now. Parks in suburbs are a mixed blessing. Occasionally they offer um, good beauty and recreational fulfillment, but they can also be a place where danger lies. So we will be driving right past it as we cannot risk stopping at the park to fulfill our recreational needs. As we continue forward, into 
the main street in which we were previously. This may have seen like a detour, but if we look to our right, we would have seen uh, immense danger, which we have just avoided by going through and doing that small detour. It is important in extreme survival challenges to take as few risks as possible. As you never know when you will accidentally make a detour, as has been done here. I made a fundamental mistake by uh, turning into cooler, cooler way. Um, I forgot that all ways are cul-de-sacs and went into a dead end. Luckily though, I was able to go around the cul-de-sac and survive this little uh, detour. But uh, mistakes like this um, need to be avoided at all costs. This was a what not to do scenario, so to speak. Luckily, we made it out alive, but it was a very risky move, if I do say so myself. Now, as we exit Cool Away, I made my second error of this uh, episode, uh, waiting for that car to move by, and I forgot to turn to the next street over, which would put me right through to the main road and would have ended um, this survival challenge by taking me out of East Newman. Nevertheless, I still am able to make it out by going past the speed bumps and back into the Swansea Street. This takes a fair while as we go through the speed bumps. we got to ignore every street uh, on the main uh, East Newman Road here. Um, all of them lead to disaster and detour. Now we still have uh, about 30 units of fuel left. Um, this was just standard um, unleaded. Uh, as you saw here there, our speed was set at 40 to 60. We do not want to go any faster as that breaks the speed limit and we do not want to go any slower as it would seem unreasonable to do so. We want to get out of Newman as fast as possible. Now, as you see on the dashboard there, we have a flower and a horseshoe taken from another extreme, abandoned, uh, ancient suburb, just for good luck. As we reach the end there, we see that um, a car has led, let us pass. Uh, that is very lucky. And we have escaped... East Newman. This has been Yeet Complete with our Extreme Suburb Survival Challenge for East Newman. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, from the Patreon tier of lists I have named the card Ginger. Hope you all enjoyed, uh, make sure to like and subscribe for more extreme suburb survival challenges. I hope that you all have a good day and hope you all manage to survive your next traversing in the maze that is East Newman. This has been Yeet Complete and I wish they a farewell.